formative days of my youth spent in homeschool. Or should I say, Starlet Park Academy? You see, back in the before times, my family had to come up with a name for our homeschool. For some reason. In the state of California, you are required to register your child's education as some form of school. Or at least this was the case before 2002. Current standards are unknown. Because we're lazy. Quite right, dear sister. So they named it Park Academy. Being our last name. But because actually saying would mean giving away personal information, we shall be using our stage name Starlet instead. I don't really like the idea of random strangers knowing my full legal name, where I live, and what my face looks like when I don't have a lawyer, bodyguard, or prior knowledge of dealing with fame. So for clarity's sake, my name is Rhapsody Starlet, and this is my sister, Blood Rain. But you can call her Ray. Anyway, homeschool. Homeschool was pretty great, if you ask me. We always had snack time from grades K through 12. We had one person teaching seven children at the same time, all in different grades. We never had to walk, bike, or bus to school in the cold. No. We still had to start school at 8 a.m. just like everyone else. Except when you're eight, that's easy. And in high school, we didn't have to start until 10. Ha! Ow. All of our books were hand-me-downs and falling apart. Not the Spanish books! Yeah, because nobody used them. If you were one of those farm homeschool kids, your dad could just show up at any time and yoink you away from your homework so you can do farm stuff. Freedom! We never had to do the science fair, or spelling bees, or group projects, or deal with annoying people! Calling yourself a person seems pretty generous, don't you think? Apply cold water. To the burr. We never made school friends. We never made school friends. Or attended a dance. Or attended a dance! We never went on field trips. I never went outside. Ever. So maybe there are some things I wish I had experienced about public school. I wouldn't. But at the end of the day, I'm still really glad we were homeschooled. Hands down, my favorite part about being homeschooled was this thing that we did every year called Art Week. It's basically just what it sounds like. It's one whole week in February where we do nothing but artsy stuff. Oh, there's no story to this one. I, I just like talking about it. I love Art Week. On a more negative note, one of my clearest memories from school was uh, my little stubborn butt refusing to learn the material because I chose not to believe it. Okay, so when an H sits next to a W, it makes the wh sound like an whale. No, it doesn't. Who has ever said whale in their entire life? It's pronounced whale, mother. Bridges can't elongate or shrink in hot or cold weather. I don't care what the physics book says. That's stupid. Solid objects are solid objects. Division has no right to be this complicated. It's stupid. <laughs> this carried on for your whole life. You're stupid. Now that I'm all done with school and moved on to bigger things, I start to realize just how much I miss it. Sure, I hated most of it, and I don't think I'd ever willingly put myself through all of that again, but I will miss the comfort and security. Who wrote this? <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> I'll miss the comfort and security of knowing what you're going to be doing tomorrow and the next day and having fun times with my family. I'll miss the nerve-wracking bi-yearly tests that we had to do to prove we were actually learning things. I'll miss snack time. I'll miss figuring out some hard math problem and feeling like a boss. But most of all, I'll miss just being an innocent kid who had no idea what was lying in store for her in the future. Yeah. Don't take childhood for granted, guys. You'll grow up sooner or later, so enjoy every part of life. Whether you're in kindergarten or a 30-year-old with kids and a mortgage to pay off. Every year is something new to experience. So why live in the past or live wondering what the future is going to be like? Make the most of the here and now and let things come and go as they please. You'll find that life becomes a whole heap easier. Fin.